Uh, let's talk U.S. politics now and the closeness of that American presidential race and the possibility that either candidate could prevail has added extra pressure on both campaigns. Campaign surrogates such as Michelle Obama and Romney and Bill Clinton as well as Paul Ryan will all be extremely visible in these last uh, 48 hours. They will have a very intense travel schedule zigzagging between six or even more states that will ultimately determine the outcome of the election on Tuesday, which is America's in which America's first black president, Barack Obama, is fighting for a second and final term in office. And in a final push, the two campaigns will also step up their advertising and their get-out-the-vote efforts, such as offering to drive people to polling stations if they need a ride, all in the race for the top seat in the world's oldest democracy. And uh, we want to now go live to Cogelo and speak to... KTN's Arne Cheng in a short while. First, let's take a listen to this uh, clip. Hello, Iowa! It is good to be back in Dubuque! Obama, certainly a little bit of emotional attachment to the man who traces his roots back here in Kenya, specifically in Kogelo, where our Aaron Ocheng is standing by. Over to you, Aaron. Very well, Anne Kiguta, as you've rightly put it, we are at Kogelo Village Resort here in Kogelo Village, just less than 72 hours before America goes to vote. It is rather a wet night here and uh, the whole village is watching. The whole village has been following the elections in America. This, uh, with me here are relatives of U.S. President Barack Obama and they've been following what has been happening in the United States with a keen eye because the president traces his roots right in this village in Kogelo in Siaya County. With me here is a, a brother to Barack Obama, Said Obama, uh, uh, together with uh, some of his relatives. And probably they'll just start by telling me uh, what is the preparations towards uh, uh, the big day on Tuesday. Thank you. My name is uh, Said Hussein Obama, uncle to the President of the United States of America. On Tuesday, we are planning to uh, watch it live on TV until uh, the results are announced. Okay. One person whose presence I'm not seeing here is, uh, of course, the grandmother. Uh, where could she be? Oh, she's home. I mean, uh, it's raining and it's uh, chilly, so uh, she's uh, just uh, watching news at okay. home. And she's been following what has been happening? She's been following what's happening. What is the anticipation in the, this village uh, about the outcome of the, of the election? Uh, we are hopeful that... Uh, the president is going to be given a second chance and uh, is something that we are looking forward to. Uh, we are praying for him and we hope he is going to... Going by, I'm sure you've been following his campaigns, uh, do you think he stands a chance to be re-elected? Yeah, I think he stands a chance to be re-elected and uh, I think it's just a matter of hours before we see that happen. Yep. Definitely is going to nail it. All right. There's and it no will be ju big jubilation here in Kogelo, I, I suppose. Oh, yeah. People are uh, looking forward to it. And uh, 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 I think when you came, you saw people all over. Uh, it's something that people are waiting for. Okay. Uh, and of course, uh, the last four years that uh, the, uh, President Obama has been in office, uh, what has changed actually here in Kogelo? The president has brought uh, uh, honor and glory to this village. Uh, uh, he has literally put Kogelo on the world map. Uh, you can see the, the government is now focusing more uh, on this area. You can see the road is being fixed. Uh, uh, the, there's electricity around. There's pipe, piped water around. Uh, social amenities like hot, uh, hotels, uh, uh, medical center, uh, schools uh, are being built. Okay. Also, uh, the security is good because we have got a police station here. And also, there are very many things. Uh, the president has also inspired the youth. The youth now are working hard. They know that with just hard work and determination, okay. you can make it no matter what is placed uh, on your way. 
So I think the community has really benefited a okay. lot. As we wish the president good luck uh, in Tuesday, mm -hmm. uh, one question that perhaps many people are asking, if he becomes, if he is re-elected as the president of uh, America, do you expect him maybe he would uh, come here? I, I cannot say uh, that he's going to come, but mm -hmm. uh, I know in his second term, mm -hmm. uh, this uh, is it, it's likely that he's going to visit Africa, and uh, maybe Kenya will be one of those countries that mm -hmm. he's going to visit. Mm -hmm. I. I cannot say exactly whether he will come to Kogelo because <laughs> I don't run his uh, program, but uh, let's hope he will make it to okay. Kogelo. Okay, well. we also wish him uh, the very best uh, on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, KTN will Thank be you. bringing you live and will also be keeping you on toes of what, would, of what will be happening in the United States right here from Kogelo village. Now, uh, Anki Guta, we will be going around tomorrow and uh, seeing the preparations here in Kogelo village how the village is anticipating the elections and of course as Kenyans we also wish uh, Barack Obama the best of luck. Now uh, Anki Guta I will take you back to, to the studios uh, for, for more. Thanks very much, Arne Cheng there in Kogelo. And of course, we're watching those polls so closely. Uh, the latest poll we've seen today placing Barack Obama at 48%, uh, just one percentage point ahead of his strongest challenger yet, Mitch Romney. 